to be clear, it is not just New York City. Much of the state is underneath this dangerous smoke. In fact, Governor Kathy Hoke will call this a, quote, emergency crisis. This is expected to go for the next few days. There was some thought yesterday this would abate by Friday. I just received an update minutes ago that that is not expected. So people need to prepare for this over the long haul. You may not even feel it, but it is having a negative effect on everyone. So please take precautions uh, throughout our state. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis is live in White Plains to continue our coverage. Marcus. And Sandra, the air quality index here in the station here in White Plains also measuring hazardous levels. But as Danny and NJ mentioned, visibility has improved a little bit compared to earlier this afternoon. In fact, between noon and 2 o'clock, it was downright spooky. As an outdoor event, the farmer's market in White Plains has been rained out and snowed out, but today was a first for Mother Nature, closing up an hour early because of smoke. This is something different. It, it does look like a little bit scary. That red sun is interesting up there. On a normal day, on a sunny day, people, a lot, a lot more people will be out. Not today. Not today. A lot of people are feeding. As you can see, a lot of people are wearing masks. Both customers and vendors alike opting for some extra protection because standing outside for an extended period of time goes against every advisory that's been issued. Yeah, I can taste it. You can feel it. I can feel it in my lungs. And uh, yeah, I, gotta put the, I can still taste it through the mask. The apocalyptic orange sky caused by wildfires in the Great White North has been an eerie attraction. But more than just a great photo op, the smoky haze is a serious health concern, and not just for those with respiratory issues. Poor air quality impacts us all, from the very young to the very old. And when, if you're out running, if you're healthy and you're able to go out running, uh, the more you breathe, the more particulate matter will get into your lungs, and the more likely you're going to have a problem. Dr. Rafael Torres says the effects are cumulative, meaning the longer this lasts, the greater the health impact. And some say they've already noticed. I feel it in my chest. I don't even have a, like respiratory problems, but yeah, it's just hard to breathe. I don't have asthma or anything like that, thank God. But I am feeling a little under the weather. My stomach is hurting a little bit, um, and I do have a little headache. So I'm assuming it could be because of the air quality. And that's why from Little League games in Dobbs Ferry to a fire department parade in Katona, most outdoor events for tonight in the Hudson Valley have been canceled. And some school districts have sent out notices saying they will monitor conditions overnight and the forecast for tomorrow before a decision is made whether they will open tomorrow.